Hey Gabsters, welcome back to another amazing adventure of Gab's Travels with me, of course, it's Gabby Jones, and you guys, today we're in a different car, and guess whose car it is? It's mine, because I recently just bought a new car. Yes, I bought a car. Um, I bought an Escape, and yeah, because the Jeep decided to, no more. I didn't crash it, that, and that's not the case yet, but um, what ended up happening is the Jeep just stopped running. After I kept paying and paying and paying to fix the expenses on it, it just quit running and the engine just stopped. And I'm like, great. After I spent all this money fixing it and it just stopped running. Okay, typical. So yeah, I'm gonna sell the Jeep to pay for this car. So yeah, I bought a new car and we are on the road today with the Gabs Travels Adventures in my car. And you may be wondering, where are we going? We are going to Nashville, Tennessee. I already got my Nashville merchandise on because I went to Nashville back in 2018 and it is really good. And I, the whole purpose I want to go is to go see the Taylor Swift stuff, of course, because I am a huge Swifty and I love Taylor Swift. And there is this exhibit at the Country Music Hall of Fame that is only there until February of 2023. And that is for the Red Taylor's versions. I bet you think about me music video outfit the dress from it and then they just put some like the outfit from the album's covers of red taylor's version and fearless red like fearless taylor's version they just put the outfits there in the museum and yeah i this whole trip taylor swift like i have a huge list of everything i want to do that is taylor swift related so yeah let's get this gav travels journey going and yeah we are about six hours away from tennessee and yeah Let's see where this road takes us on season three of Gab's Travels. Here we are, Tennessee. Okay, so here we are. We are on the Gab's Travels Adventure and behind me, we have, I don't know if we can see it because of the lighting, but I'm gonna walk up here. We have the Taylor Swift Park here in Hendersonville, Nashville, like Tennessee area. You can see it says Taylor Swift. So this park here in Nashville, or Hendersonville. Hendersonville is where Taylor moved to when she was 13 and moving to Tennessee to sign for her record label in Nashville when she became a star. So yeah, we decided to go here to the Taylor Swift Park in Hendersonville um, after we went to the Country Music Hall of Fame. Yeah, and I figured we could go see the Taylor Swift Park because why not? Not many people know about it and it's Taylor Swift. Of course I gotta do all the Taylor Swift things. So yeah, we are here at the Taylor Swift Park and this Taylor journey has just begun and we have so many more other Taylor things to see. So stick here with Gab's Travels to see what we're gonna do next. So here we are at the Taylor Swift Park in Hendersonville, Tennessee. And then here we go. There are some more of the park of the Taylor Swift Park. And then we take a trip over to the Nashville Country Hall of Fame, and there is a poster of Taylor Swift outside on the banner. And then we head inside, and then there is this little video of Taylor Swift from the um, Red Era, and a little bit of folklore and evermore in there. So it just shows a video montage of some of her photo shoots from the albums. It is about 30 seconds long. You see it right when you walk in the Taylor Swift Center of the Country Music Hall of Fame. Keeps on going and she, there she's dancing. Then here we take a look. There was the guitar from the Fearless Taylor's version. And then we head over there, and then there's me with Taylor Swift, a banner that talks about her. And then here's the guitar from the All Too Well 10-minute version from Saturday Night Live. 
and there is the red coat from red taylor's version and and the um typewriter from the music video and there describes what taylor's version is and what does it mean it talks about fearless and red and then she still got four more albums to re-record and there's the typewriter from the all too well 10 minute version music video and it talks about the hat and the coat where they are from being the album cover and then there is the fearless album cover photo shoot and it talks about the guitar and where it is from and what it was used for along with the blouse being from fearless taylor's version and then we go ahead and there are some lyrics from the um albums that she had written and there is the Taylor Swift Education Center right when you walk in. And then on the main floor, we have Taylor Swift's Fearless Outfit and the guitar from the tour. And it talks about Taylor Swift and where she is from being in Pennsylvania. And then for limited time only, it was the I Bet You Think About Me music video outfit. And it talks about Taylor and how she's re-recorded her process and getting back her master's talks about the guitar and where it is from being from the i bet you think about me music video and then the amazing dress from the music video directed by blake lively and there is the tour bus from um 1989 tour and then there's me with the fearless um outfits so then from after seeing the Nashville Hall of Fame Museum, which I went for all the Taylor Swift stuff because I saw the Red Taylor's version um, outfit from I Bet You Think About Me. And that's one thing I really wanted to go for because it ends in February of 2023, I believe. And I wanted to go and see it before it was over because it's Taylor Swift and I love Taylor Swift. So yeah, we went to the Hall of Fame Museum and then from there we decided to head over to Grimley Records, I believe was the name of it, and they had a mural on the outside of their building from Record Store Day just a few months ago and I got a picture with the Taylor Swift um, mural outside of the building and here's what it looks like. There's me with the um, mural and i loved it and it was only like five minutes away from the city so it really wasn't that far so it was great to see that and then going and seeing the hall of fame which i had went back in 2018 before you knew of me yeah i started this channel in november of 2018 and i went in like july august of um 20 hang on one second i gotta take a phone call Okay, that phone call was just silence. It was from some random number. So who knows of random numbers anymore if I could be winning anything. Because I enter a lot of giveaways all the time. So I don't know if I was that. But I answer it and there's silence. So let's get back to the main topic. Taylor Swift. Because we're getting swifted here with my topic. And I have my... um. 1989 sunglasses on and my nashville hoodie because obviously we're here we're in nashville and we're living it up for taylor swift and we're not in 1989 we're in 2022 and we're in nashville but yeah we're living it up so after we got done with the hall of fame i said we went to the record store but there was one cool thing because on the third floor of the nashville hall of fame there as soon as you walk in there is i showed it in the pictures that you just watched and it was the Taylor Swift Education Center where you can go and you can take programs and you can learn how to play guitars and it was all funded by her and then every couple like albums that she has like right now in there is Fearless and Red Taylor's version and there was before that there was Lover Stuff and I don't know like what they're gonna add in there next who knows but no clue. But there was one thing that was cool, which I really love. They gave you this um, form that you have, and it's, like, questions that you have to answer. And it says, like, Country Music Hall of Fame, and it's got Taylor Swift from Lover, and it's just a Taylor Swift scavenger hunt. So it tells you about Taylor Swift and when she moved to Nashville, and it's got, like, questions that you have to answer. And it was, like, where can you find this in the education center a jacket that was worn in the me music video by her duet partner which that was brendan yuri from the me music video and that's not in the hall of fame anymore so obviously this hasn't been updated but 
there's like other stuff that you have to find in here like a guitar the bus that's in there and just a bunch of other questions that couldn't only like relate to Taylor Swift it could be like you got to find a car in there for getaway car and it could be like Elvis's car you gotta go find there's just a bunch of random stuff in there so many Taylor Swift stuff in there and every couple years like I said they do rotate it out like when I was back there in 2018 they had stuff from look what you made me do from reputation and that was cool because they changed it and really upgraded it over the years so yeah that was great to see that. So if you like this adventure where we got swifted with Taylor Swift, I'm sure you don't want to come back tomorrow because we're not getting swifted. We're getting country y'all because we're going to go out and explore Nashville and we're going to see what country stuff is here in Nashville. Like where are we going for dinner? Are we going to see turtles? Because I wanted to see turtles when we were in Texas. So no turtles in Texas. No turtle farms like I was promised. But are we going to see turtles? Because I love turtles. Um, so yeah, what are we going to do tomorrow on this episode of Gab's Travels? And hope you guys liked getting swifted. So if you guys like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Comment down in the comments. And if you are new here and like Gab's Travels, make sure to hit that big red subscribe button. So you never miss out whenever I post a brand new video. So thank you guys for watching this episode of Gab's Travels. Tune in tomorrow to see where this adventure takes us on Gab's Travels Season 3. Woo!